What's up guys, Alec here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can green screen and virtual background on Zoom calls. So recently Zoom has been blowing up in popularity, being used by more and more people for online classes, online meetings, due to everyone having to work from home. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can use virtual backgrounds and custom images as a green screen on your Zoom calls. First of all, you wanna make sure you've created an account and have downloaded Zoom. To do that, you just go to the Zoom website. Once you're on Zoom, if you wanna test this out by yourself first, what you can do is just click on new meeting. When a new meeting opens, opens up and you are now in a call as you can see on the screen I'm just going to join with my computer audio here you are now in a call and this is a meeting so if you wanted to start using the virtual backgrounds here's what you can do next to the video icon the stop video button right here you have this little arrow if you click this arrow you get this menu that will pop up with the video settings so we're just going to click on video settings and then we get all the settings that pop up now we're going to go down to virtual background and here, this is where we can green screen and virtual background. Now, I do want to mention that to use the actual virtual background, you do need to have the system requirements. For example, if I try and take off green screen, it's going to say it's use virtual background without a green screen. Your Mac OS version needs to be 10.13 or higher and your processor must be an Intel Core i5 with a quad core or better. So this is an old 2015 MacBook, so I can't yet do that, and my computer doesn't yet have a webcam, but I'm still going to be showing you with the screen option. So here, first of all, as you can see, let's just take one of these stock options. I've got the San Francisco background, or the grass, or the space. So what you want to do here is this little icon, you basically want to select the color on the screen um, that is your green screen. So due to the fact that my MacBook is capturing the wall behind me, which is white here and red here, it's going to be quite hard for me to select one specific color. So if I just click on the red, for an example, all of the red is going to be replaced by the image. You might want to try this a few times just to get it right. For example, that was capturing a lot of my mouth there. Here, it's a little bit better. As you can see, my mouth isn't being captured. Um, you can do a bunch of fun things with it though. For example, I'm dressed in all black today. I can actually make myself look like a floating face, which I think is quite funny. But for an example, if you did actually have a green screen and you placed it behind you, it could be a lot better. For an example here, I'm just gonna try covering the whole background with a pink sheet that I have. So just for the purpose of this video, I've actually quickly just hung up a pink sheet behind me. I know again, it's not green, but if I show you on the MacBook, now if I select this pink sheet, it now does a little bit more of a better effect at green screening. So if I wanted to add a custom image in the background, for an example, I can just click on this little plus sign right here. Then my window is going to pop up with all my folders. So I'm just going to scroll down and select a custom image. Let's just choose this one. I do open. And now we actually have me working in the office, which is a custom image. If I point right here, you can see Veed.io. So that is how you create green screen and virtual backgrounds on Veed. You can, uh, you can do it with pretty much any image, um, any custom image you want, and I think it's a pretty fun effect. So if I'm just to close this now, I'm now in my video conference call with myself as a background. So yeah, that's pretty cool. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. I know this green screen isn't perfect, but you now know how to do it. That being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video.